Last night, Michael Shrafford replied to a post on X where a fan page said something that goes like this. The way Michael Shrafford is being treated is absolutely disgusting. It is cruel and it is abuse. And here is what Michael Shrafford had to say about that. He replied, I appreciate your support. It is abuse and it has been for months. Enough is enough. Leave me alone. So Michael Shrafford is basically calling out all the abuse he has been gotten online from fans, both my United fans and fans in general, um, about how he's playing. Of course, he's mostly United fans because, you know, the wider fan base of football do not really care um, that he's playing bad. You know, they want him that way. But United fans are really, really, really annoyed with him. Most fans want him to go. And I'm very sure if you ask, if you do a survey right now, many fans definitely want him to go. And he has come out and said, you guys have been abusing me for, for too long and enough is enough. This is a very, very, very wrong step for Michael Shrafford to do Um, because let's wind back a little bit. Let's wind back. This season, Michael Shrafford has um, been caught clubbing twice. The most important one was the one where he went to another um, country. He went to Ireland, the Republic of Ireland. He went to club. He went, to, he went clubbing a day before Manchester United training. And after clubbing, and he came back to the UK, he came back to Manchester, but he couldn't train the next day, obviously because of a hangover. So he missed training the next day because of him clubbing last night. Fans have been complaining about Michael Rashford playing too inconsistent this season. His body language has been poor. He's playing like he's not really, you know, doesn't want to be there. He doesn't run. And of course, in terms of scoring goals and assisting, he has been very poor this season as compared to last season where he got 30 goals. Um, um, all season. And also, um, over the years, Michael Rashford has been on and off, inconsistent, consistent this season, inconsistent next season, on and off. Um, and we have been having this problem with, with this squad. And you, you get many fans before defending him. Um, the, he's like a poster boy for the club. So we give excuses for Michael Rashford, how shit he has been. Um, and then when it comes to, and maybe because he's English, he's from the academy, you know, the same way we treat, um, McTominay. Yeah, that the same way, and even more, that same way we have been treating Michael Stratford, pampering him, petting him, forgetting that Michael Stratford is 27 years, and now he has come out and said the abuse is too much. Of course, I agree he has been abused online, but every player has been, ab has been abused. Boba was abused for most of the time he spent at United. He has been abused publicly by fans in the stadium. Um, the, um pond, uh, the English pundits have come out to write to say all, all sort of nonsense about him. The English press have written articles about him, and the fans didn't show any mercy to Pop uh, Popova. Also, to Anthony, ever since he did that spinning around with the ball, Anthony hasn't seen a day of rest at the club from both the pundits, both the English press, and both United fans. Right, Anthony has been abused left, right, and centre. Maguire last season was a, Maguire for last two, last two years has been the huge topic of discussion, even getting bomb threats. Harry Maguire have gotten bomb threats due to fans, some fans taking it too extreme. Harry Maguire has gotten bomb threats due to fans not, not liking the way he has been playing. Anthony Martial also has been gotten, getting abuse for years about him not running, him being always injured and the rest. So all these players have been abused over the years. But guess what? Some of them have gone to Twitter to cry about being abused. None of them have did an interview complaining about being abused or, or their loyalty being tested. But also this season, Marcus Rashford has done an interview where he said, um, don't ever question my loyalty to the club and blah, 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 blah. And after that interview, it was the Manchester Derby. He scored a goal, but we lost. He hasn't really proved himself. The way you show your haters the door is by playing well on the pitch. So if you are coming to show me to always cry about you're not being treated well, you are being insulted, you are being abused, it means you spend your time going through your phone looking for abuse. When as a professional footballer, you are meant to focus on your training, focus on your performance on the pitch and let your performance do the talking. But no, you are spending hours they're spending hours in the midnight replying to 
to message from fan groups, individuals, and the rest. It is very, very poor. My girlfriend is 27 years old. He's on 250k a week. He's our most, he's our most expensive, um, player in terms of salary received. And this is not what we get for your salary when I pay you. We're not paying you a salary to go out on social media and be complaining about being abused. We expect that when you face these challenges, you prove yourself on the pitch. Vinicius at Real Madrid has been receiving racial abuse. Um, Rodrigo also receiving racial abuse. What did they do? They have been abused. They, um, Vinicius has come out and interview and is crying. But when he's on the pitch, he performs, he's play, he plays well, he gets goals, he gets assists. Real Madrid are in the, in the Champions League semi-final and they are doing well. But we have Marcus Rashford who is crying about being abused, but playing poorly on the pitch. And right now, he's even, you can say he's effective, effectively dropped for now, except maybe Tiang decide to play him in our game against Burnley tomorrow. But right now, I can say he's dropped. So the best way to prove yourself, um, right is by performing on the pitch. But your poor attitude, your inconsistency, and, you know, your, your general bad body language in matches isn't going to save you, Michael Rashford. It isn't going to save you. The abuse will always be there. Abuse didn't start uh, in football today. The social media has has made it a lot more open, fine and good. But abuse has always been there. Abuse will always be there. But what you need to do is that if you are performing on, performing on the pitch, those abuse wouldn't matter. They will be they will be hidden because because what what's the essence of abusing someone like Cristiano Ronaldo who has achieved everything? What are you abusing him for? Right here, right now, how many times, how many times is Oli Watkins being abused? How many times is um, Bukaya Saka being abused? How many times is Havas being abused? These players are performing well. How many times is Fifo being abused? These players are scoring goals and performing well. So when you perform well, no abuse. So tell me in the comment section, what do you think about Marcus Rashford and the present situation with him? Because right here, right now, like I said, many fans are not happy with him. I wouldn't mind if he's sold and if he leaves Manchester United.